So, you know, Judy, now that spring is here, everybody's getting into their vegetable mm -hmm. gardens. And, you know, a lot of people have questions about potatoes and, you know, how do you plant them? Which ones do you plant? Well, today we're going to show you a couple different methods of planting potatoes. But first, we wanted to chat about some of the varieties that we have here. You know, at any independent garden center, you're going to find a lot of different potatoes. And we call these seed potatoes. And there's a lot of different flavors. You know, one of my favorites is Yukon Gold. And, and these delicious. are delicious. Ones you can get in the grocery store. They have kind of that little lemony yellow center. Really lovely. And another one, that's kind of cool is called all blue and it's actually purple on the inside and that would be really beautiful. It's a great one to plant with kids too because they love them. That is and also a one that I'm not familiar with is fingerlings mm -hmm. and they're tiny little potatoes so this is going to be a new one for me. So when you are planting you know we, we would suggest finding one you really love which we both love this this uh, wonderful all gold here but we're going to do the uh, or Yukon gold but we're going to do the purple one in the ground. Now when you make when you get a seed potato they come like this from the store. What you're going to want to do is cut them, give them about a day to rest so they skin over like this one has, but you also want to leave anywhere from three to five of these eye buds and you can tell what they are because they're the little hole like things in the potato. Now we've already cut these and just to show you what we mean, oh, that's pretty. how they look <laughs> when you cut them fresh, but you want them to skin over a little bit. So we cut them the day before. Now I'm going to take this one over All here. Right. We already pre-dug our hole. We're going to just pop it in there. Nothing special about how you put it in and just cover it over a little bit. Now, we're not going to cover it all the way in yet. We're going to let it start growing. Once you see the green of the plant shooting up here, you let it get about four to six inches tall. Then you're going to add some more soil. Keep mounding that up till about, oh, I don't know, two or three inches above the soil line. What that's going to do is give your potato the chance to make more potatoes. So the, the deeper in it goes, the more potatoes you're going to get when it's ready to dig up. Now, Judy, you're going to show us an idea, though, like if you don't have a garden space, you can still grow potatoes on a patio. Right. You know, here I have this old container. It's an old just garbage container. We use it for yard debris. And so we're going to recycle it. We're not going to send it to the landfill. So it does have some drainage holes here, but we're going to make some more with this drill. Pause. And so you're drilling for the so like any container, you need drainage holes, and potatoes are going to need drainage because they're not going to want to sit in water. So William, thank you. You're going to help me put in some yep. soil there. We're just putting in some black gold, all organic soil in the bottom, probably about, I don't know, it comes out to about five inches right there. Five or six inches, and so I'm going to use these Yukon Gold, and you can use about four in a container this size. And, and then, so we're going to do And to remember, same. Judy, when, the, when you do this, you might have to pay attention to watering a bit more Ooh, because, you know, you're going to get hotter. The sun's going to heat the plastic up. So you do need to pay attention to that. And now those are in there. We're just right. going to put a little bit more soil on them. It's the same procedure that you did in the garden. We're going to wait till they grow up and then we're going to put some more soil in. And you know, you could put this on your deck or patio and I bet we're going to get potatoes before you get potatoes. You probably <laughs> will. And the easy thing about this method is turn it upside down. <laughs> All the potatoes will come out. You don't have to dig. You don't have to get your shovels out or anything. And you don't have to worry about maybe hurting those potatoes when you're harvesting. And then you can take the soil that you use, put it in your garden, till it in, reuse the container next year. It's very sustainable. You know, it's really a fun way to do it. It's a great project for your family or kids, or if you don't have a garden space. It sure is. So get out there and plant some potatoes.